Signs for the Blind, Part 4, Buried Intelligence. Now she wondered what the hell she had been thinking to do something like that. It had to be the weed, she thought. Or maybe I had a nervous breakdown, she pondered. As she tried to think of excuses, she thought about how she hadn't left him for months after removing her daughter from their apartment, not until she had found out he had molested his own daughter when she had spent the night. His daughter was 13 years old. As it turned out, she learned that it wasn't the first time he had tried that either. The night she had heard his daughter crying in the other bedroom, the room where her daughter used to sleep, she went in to see what was wrong. Lewis's daughter told Tanya that he had come in the room while she was asleep and forced her panties off. She cried uncontrollably as she choked out her words, saying that he had tried to force his dick into her, as she called it. She told Tanya that she had struggled so much that he finally gave up. He told her she better not tell anybody or he would whoop her ass. Devastated and disgusted beyond belief, Tanya confronted him and threatened to call the police if he did not arrange to get help. She was feeling especially guilty, but could not admit to herself where that feeling came from other than the fact that she had been at the bar that night picking up some weed. That guilt really stemmed from the buried intelligence she had about this pedophile, this beast. He had been eyeing her daughter and she had done nothing but allow her own daughter to fall victim to him. She called his mother and to her shock, his mother said she wasn't surprised about this because he used to rape his gay brother when they were teenagers. His mother went on to describe how he would catch his younger brother at home alone and throw him down across the bed and rape him all the while screaming, you want to be a faggot? I'll show you what it means to be a faggot. His mother went on to say that she had gotten counseling for him back then. His mother's denial allowed her to believe it had helped him. The fact that she wasn't surprised showed that she had some buried intelligence too.